Hey everybody, Wayne at Mighty Armory. Uh, what I wanted to show you today was the 300 blackout version of our rifle die. Uh, they're all made using the same high grade uh, tool steel. They're all precision machined and we single point cut on the finish. We do not ream. Um, we can hold excellent concentricity by machining the way that we do right here in Rhode Island so you have a very smooth bore at 60 Rockwell and I know for a fact that these rifle dies have gone through over a million cycles of sizing in a number of different commercial ammo houses across the country and overseas so when you're buying a Mighty Armory die, not only are you buying precision, more accurate loading, more accurate rounds, you're buying absolute quality. So we have the die body here, and then we have the drop-in mandrel. It's Swiss machined. Um, this is heat treated to 50 Rockwell, very, very strong and it's threaded on the inside to accept either a pointer or a pin so you ask what's a pointer this is something that i came up with when we first started doing the rifle dies the pointer simply screws into the shaft the mandrel shaft like so in lieu of a pin so if you decap and clean and then you want to size you're not going to run your pen because you've already decapped so you'll put the pointer in it does two things it protects the threads and it acts as a guide although if you'll notice the shape on this shaft which all the rifle dies are shaped this way there's a through hole contact here there's an angular contact here and then there's a flat contact here so there's three contact points inside the die body where the shaft drops in you, you can do that all day long you won't hear anything it's not moving that's how close a tolerance we hold when we do the machining okay so let's take that shaft out okay so now we've 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 uh, talked about the die we've talked about the mandrel you can see the thickness and so on of the steel it's brutal it's again once you drop it in and then you you lock down that cap it becomes one because we developed the modular die designed designed for the reloading industry uh, when you install the pointer or the pin you want to use this is a new tube I'm not sure if it's yeah this has been used 111 number 111 purple vibratite okay it's a minimum hold on threaded on threaded parts okay so if something went wrong and you need to remove a pin we'll say it, it will it will turn out so you're going to put thread locker on the threads of the pin or the pointer so that it cannot move that's extremely important you're going to turn it into the shaft and then you're either going to grab the flats of the shaft or vice the shaft with a plastic or a rubber face on the vice claws or jaws and then you're going to take a 3 16 wrench to the flats on the pointer or the pins same size and you're going to snug it you're not going to tighten it you're just going to snug it let it set up for 10 or 15 minutes you're good to go the last thing you want to have happen is for this to loosen and work its way out and make contact with the primer hole flash hole excuse me on the web of the case the floor and spread it so you don't want that to happen so use the vibratite another possibility too is if this walks out with a pen we'll say it gets out that far and there's no contact made at the angle of the pin or the pointer there's a lot of pressure on the pin especially right here and it can cause a crack and then eventually a break on the thread barrel which makes 
its way into the shaft so make sure this is secure okay so now we drop the shaft in we drop in our rebound spring and then we drop in our cap and turn it this is a posted cap it's long enough to compress the spring and make contact with the top of the shaft I'll show you why got to use a little force here because that spring is pretty tough okay there we go now you're going to turn this down all the way when that stops all you do is back it out a quarter turn literally a quarter turn that quarter turn will leave a gap between the post face and the top of the shaft so if you are decapping when the pin makes contact with the primer it's going to push the shaft up about ten thousandths after the primer comes out the pressure is relieved the spring rebounds pushes the shaft down and the primer is flicked off the pin so you're not going to get any pullbacks that's something we designed almost six years ago our original die didn't have it about six or eight months after we started we developed that uh, that primer flicking spring design into the cap so now what we're going to do is we're just going to install this in a T7 with a Creedmoor head I've got the case holder in place bring that ram up try and stay in your view here make contact snug the lock ring tighten the set screw to squeeze the ring on the threads that way when you take it out you can grab the nut and if you want to put it back in it'll set right where it belongs most of us are familiar with that anyway but I thought I should mention it okay so we're going to take a 300 blackout case this is actually a 300 AAC case it's a factory case and we're going to size it we're going to go in we're going to come back out it's almost effortless with this die with the steel and the bore finish and the surface finish of the bore it's a, a five-year-old kid could pull this lever and return it that's how smooth they are so let's do another one we'll do five or six whatever I mean you can do it with your fingers just it just doesn't take much and the same thing is true with our other rifle dies whether it be a 223 65 Creedmoor six millimeter arc just doesn't matter they all size this way I use the blackout because this is the first version of the die since we made some changes the changes in the heat treatment um, in the tempering and you'll notice it doesn't have the shine on it that the previous versions had this is more of a kind of a shiny gray which is a nice finish but what that allowed us to do was to get a much smoother finish on the bore of this die uh, although we were well under 10 we're now under 6 that's the uh, that's a new that's the look at the new version of our full length rifle sizing dies right there 300 blackout 